Hey guys, so it's Paul here and today we're looking at the earthquake bag. So I bought this specifically because I just never know uh, when an emergency might happen and I want to have emergency supplies at home just in case a situation happens. This is uh, has a three day supply kit inside for two people and um, we've had it for several years. We Luckily, we haven't had to use it, but we do live in an earthquake zone. Uh, you don't have to specifically have it only for earthquakes, but any emergency situation you could use this for, uh, for backup supplies and whatnot. So this is what the bag looks like. And it's fairly large, weighs a significant amount, uh, but it's nice I, to hold on, to just grab in an emergency and you're on the go. Uh, overall, ergonomically, it feels fairly comfortable given what it is. Uh, let me see here. So it also has an extra strap on the bottom here for more support. So you can have extra support there. And then inside here you have the side pockets you can put drinks in um but also there's a front pocket here that's empty so you can add your own stuff in addition to what's already here uh, it's not completely full as you can see there is room to add things if you want to expand there's also a top pocket here that has space to add extra things and then on the top Let's see what's inside. So this is how it's packed. So you have a 107 piece first aid kit, some uh, looks like cordage and lines, gloves, all sorts of things in here. We got uh, looks like a water straw. Purify some water. You got some goggles. Uh, fire starter, lots of things, everything you will need. You got emergency wind flashlight. Uh, we have emergency food rations, more emergency food rations. Let's see what, what else is in here. Another straw. You have hygiene, sleeping bag, a poncho, a lot of different things here. Uh, again, same thing for two people. You got emergency drinking water as well. Two packs of those. So, quite a bit in one bag. Alright, so I hope that video helps you. Uh, thanks for watching.